Today is going to be a different type of pack and ship because I sold $160 worth of glass. Yes, glass. Two sales, okay, two sales, both of them being glasses, beverage glasses. And I'm going to show you step by step how to pack them carefully, safely, so they'll arrive in great condition for the buyer. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. If you're coming back, thank you for that too. I love that and I love to read your comments as well. As I said, today's video is a pack and ship, but a little bit different this time. This is a two for one, meaning two sales in one video. Plus, I'm going to share with you some of my tips along the way and little things that I do, just simple little things that help me packing and shipping an item, any item, it doesn't have to be glass. So watch for those tips along the way. If you're one of my regular subscribers, you know that my pack and ship tutorials are very detailed. There's always someone new coming to my channel that may have never packed anything fragile before. So that's why I like to show you in great detail. That's why they're called in my title, Step by Step, because that's exactly what it is. It's detailed. And if you like these kind of videos, well, be sure to subscribe and keep watching. If you don't like pack and ship videos, I have many other videos you could go watch. And the glasses are back here, and I'm gonna just go over here and pan them for you. See if you can figure out which ones I sold. Two lots of glasses, not two glasses, two lots of glasses for $160 plus shipping. With that said, let's get started. Got glass. I do lots of glass. Oh goodness, which ones are they? I have all different colors, all different makers, all different styles. Which glasses am I packing and shipping today? What do you think? What's your guess? All right, I'll just go ahead and say these. I have six of these emerald green glasses. Just got these at a church rummage sale within the last couple weeks. It says Imperial on the tag. So we have six of these goblets. And then Mark found these four wine glasses at the Goodwill just a few weeks ago. And yes, we have four of these to pack. Ooh, <laughs> delicate stem to deal with. Should be interesting. I'm going to put my camera down while I get these over to my table because I don't want to take any chances of dropping them. So I'll be right back. My first tip when you're shipping multiple items is to focus on just one of them. Yes, just one at a time. Otherwise it can get a little bit overwhelming. I want to figure out first how I'm going to pack a single glass and then I'll repeat the process for the remaining three. Listen to this. Do you hear that? That's crystal. Let me tell you about these glasses. The brand is Rogaska or Rogaska. I'm not sure really how to pronounce it, but they are crystal clear wine glasses. And I literally mean crystal with optic panels. They have a slight gold rim and watch the entire video. And then I'll show you at the end, which ones sold for the most. I'm going to start with some foam wrap. This is 150 feet that I ordered in. It's 1 16th inch and it's perforated every 12 inches. So I'm going to get this open and the link for this is in the description below the video. Start with this first class. I'm going to wrap this around, fold the bottom up, roll it and tape it. I'm using masking tape. Then I'm going to tuck the end in to the inside. I'm cutting a sheet of tissue paper in half. And let's see how this works. Actually, it could take more than a half sheet. Each glass can handle a whole sheet of tissue paper. I want to protect this stem a little bit better. You can see that this is just loosely wrapped around it. I'm going to use a half sheet of large half inch bubble wrap. And I'm working just above the uh, foot of the glass using masking tape. I'm also going to wrap 
the glass in some small quarter inch bubble wrap. The reason I'm doing this is because I can get this to fit a little bit tighter to the glass. And some masking tape. Let's fold in the bottom. And we're just going to fold this down in a little bit and tape it completely across the top, pressing down the tape. So there you go, we've got one of them. It's looking pretty good, but I just keep repeating this process for all four. It's really important to press this tape down because it you can catch it accidentally and you could be flinging your glass so you really want to make sure it's pressed down. And the dispensers that I'm using for my tape, this is my masking tape and then I, of course I have packing tape and so they're heavy duty industrial dispensers. The links for these are in the description below the video. And anything that you purchase from my links costs the same for you as it does for me, but it does help me out on my channel and I appreciate that. So thank you for buying from my links. Very much appreciated. And to keep these from rolling off the table, I decided to put them in a banker's box lid because I was a little concerned. <laughs> I didn't want these to roll off the table. You know, I work in a two by four area. So I grabbed a lid to keep them safe. Now I just gotta make sure I don't knock this off the table. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I do want to take a measurement on these before I go any further. I want to add large bubble wrap, but I also wanna see where I am with this. The height of each glass is right at nine. Probably should allow for 10. And then when I put them all together, I'm looking here at about eight. I think I can do a 10 by 10 by 10 box. I love three pounds for shipping, so I have to consider that too. Very light though. Let's see what I can do with some more half inch large bubble wrap. I love to wrap on the diagonal, I do, but it's not going to fit. Will this fit one sheet? No, it won't. Just like you watching this, I'm packing this for the first time. Could possibly slip them down into a box like this and then protect the top with some bubble wrap too. A 10 by 10 by 10. It's not an eBay box, but it's not the box that I ordered in. Let me get it assembled. For whatever reason, these don't come together completely here, but that's okay. I'm gonna add some tape. Put some tape on the seam. Press the tape down. I'm certain these are going to fit just fine, but let's do a little test. lots of room in here but we'll take care of that. I have some scrap cardboard and I'm going to cut two 10 by 10 pieces. Just going to mark it. And I like to use a large cutting board. I just picked this up at my Walmart, not sponsored. Get a utility knife. Doesn't have to be perfect. This just needs a small trim on it. And this needs a little trim as well. But as I said, I need 10 by 10. So let's measure this again. I always keep scrap cardboard on hand. It does come in handy all the time. Measuring 10 inches. I save the small pieces too. 10 by 10. Let's do the same thing on this one. All right, let's find halfway point. Let's find five inches. They're 10 by 10 square five inches and finding five inches this way just trying to find the center I guess you could also to find the center you could go on the diagonal corner to corner draw a little line again corner to corner draw a little line it's pretty faint but I found my center point and I'm going to cut up to that center point Cutting a slit, that's all. Just a slit at this point. Do the same thing with the other piece. Cut, cut, and just push these together. Push or pull, whatever works. Until you've got this, there's our divider. Just put this inside and you can see there's four sections now. Then I'm taking a half sheet of large bubble wrap, taking the glass, 
with the foot side down. This is the top, this is the foot. Centering it up in the bubble wrap, just folding up the sides. I'm going to slide this down in. Let's repeat that for the other three. I'm going to tuck another half piece around the top of each of these. Just going to make sure that, that will close. And that's why you don't want to get too high on this. This has to still close, so be careful that you cut it to the right measurement. The box is 10 by 10 by 10, and it doesn't hurt if you make this like, you know, 9 and 3 quarters. Now these glasses can still move a little bit. I'm going to cut this into four. I don't want any movement at all. Flipping a quarter sheet onto each side. I don't want any movement. Feels pretty good. Put this bubble wrap down as flat as I can. Adding my thank you label to the inside. Just says thank you, shop again soon, Avante Avenue. And get this tape closed. I'm going to take a marker and write top with an arrow. Make sure they open it from this side. I always like to write on the bottom the buyer's first and last initials and the state it's going to. This four count of Rogoska glasses, crystal glasses, is going out to CG in New Mexico. Originally I had thought about double boxing it, but it came in a little too heavy. I think they're packed good enough that they'll be just fine. And if I have any issues, I'll let you know, but I think we've got it. do the six glasses now. We have six of these to pack. This is a six count of vintage Old Williamsburg by Imperial Glass, colors emerald green, iced tea or water goblets. I, I paid eight dollars for all of them at a church rummage sale. Keep watching and I'll show you at the end which set sold for the most money. Emerald green, really pretty. Emerald green glasses, new old stock, original tag, we're going to focus on the one for right now. We need to protect the stem. We need to protect the finish. We need to fill this void, this hollow area. Let's do it. Start with the foam wrap on the diagonal. Pull the bottom up, just roll it, tape it, masking tape, tuck this inside. It needs a little more padding inside. One whole sheet of tissue paper works. Let's use a half sheet of large bubble wrap. Large meaning it's one half inches thick. The bubble, and just like we did the wine glasses. Let's wrap this and tape it. And then let's wrap the entire glass in two sheets of quarter inch bubble wrap. Tape it, hold the bottom together, top down, bottom up, bottom up, top down, whatever you prefer. Fold the top in and then using a large piece of tape, I want to go all the way across if I can and press that tape down. So it's the same technique. It's going to go ahead and finish the other five glasses and then I'll show you how I'm going to box it. Probably 13 by eight by eight, 13 by eight by eight. I'm going to go ahead and put my thank you label on a few of these, not all of them, maybe three. Not necessary, but I'm doing it anyway. Got the glasses in a tray so they don't roll anywhere. Got a 16 by 12 by eight eBay box. When it's a wider box, I cross tape twice. And always put some tape on that side seam. Let's do a test fit. I'm going to alternate them. So what I'm thinking is two layers. Yeah, I'm going to be fine 
uh, with two layers. I, I just need more padding. I have four sheets of a large half inch bubble wrap this direction, three sheets this direction. I'm going to alternate the direction of the glasses. Still a lot of room left over in here. I'm going to get some air pillows. I use these air pillows and I have links in the description below for these as well. Uh, I'm going to put four for this direction on the outside of my bubble wrap. Putting four. And four here. And three on each end. Again, on the outside of the bubble wrap. I'm trying to tighten things up. I'm going to put one in between each of the glasses, wherever I can fit it. You want everything tight. You don't want anything to be able to move around. So I've inserted a couple here. Then I have a layer of large bubble wrap in between. Alternating. But remember, I have to be able to close this up and still get this bubble wrap on top. And you know what? It's not going to do it. Ah. <laughs> I couldn't fit the large bubble wrap, but I might be able to fit a little bit of small in between. Small being quarter inch. I'm going to roll these sides down like little bumpers. Put this over top and this over top. I'll make it work. Let me show you here. But first, I'm going to add an air pillow here and one here. I mean, they're not going anywhere this direction. I have bumpers. They're not going anywhere this direction. I need to make this match pretty much exact. Let me roll that under slightly. I'm going to put one little piece of cardboard right in the center where they would probably be cutting this open. I need to tape it all down, but by golly, I think we've got it. And it's heavy. I'm adding extra tape. So I'm going to press this down a little bit. I need to write the buyer's initials on the bottom. AF in Delaware. glasses sold for the most. What do you think? I'm going to show you now. The four count of Rogoska crystal clear wine glasses with the optic panel sold for a lot of four. Sold for $75 plus shipping. Came to $94.61 with tax. And the six count of Imperial Glass Old Williamsburg pattern in emerald green. Very rare. Paid $8 for all. Sold for six glasses for $85 plus shipping came to $96.95. So the old Williamsburg Imperial Glass wins. Which one did you guess? Did you leave a comment down below? The winner of the Jumping Jack from my last pack and ship video is Patch Rollins. Congratulations, Patch. Please look for my email in the description below the video and send me your mailing information. If you enjoyed this step-by-step -step pack and ship tutorial, I hope you give me a thumbs up. I invite you to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.